Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can get rid of blank lines that you don't want when you see them in a document. So on the screen, I've got some examples of where you might get or what appears to be blank lines. So the first one is the title in this document. If I highlight the title, you can see that there's a space there above it. Now, if I click in front of that and backspace, nothing is happening. It's not getting into that line. And you can't actually delete that space because it's part of the heading style that this is. So if you wanted to get rid of that, you have to edit the heading style that this is. And this is a heading style one. And the styles themselves are at the top here. So if I wanted to edit that, I have to right click, modify. And then you can see if I go down to the bottom here, it's got before 12 point. That's the style itself, 12 point before. If I go to format, paragraph, you can see it there, or I could have done it there, but this is to do it, if you want this to be cascaded through the whole document, you can do it through this box. Whereas if you did it through this little arrow, which comes into the same, same box, it would just be that one that you did. But if I put that back to zero, and then click OK, now that has taken it off. I'm not going to tick automatically update. I'll leave that one off, and I don't want it to change in all new documents either. So that's now fixed that. If I click OK... You've got rid of that blank line as it was. Now this one, if you highlight, you can see that there is, if I highlight each of these, you can see that there is a space after. And again, if I get into this line and backspace, it doesn't actually do anything other than delete wherever you're backspacing because it isn't a line as such that you can delete. What this is, if I highlight the whole paragraph by double clicking in this selection area, this is line space in itself it's been set now to fix that you've got this option here that you can see it's on 1.5 now obviously that's a bit more stands out a bit more so you can see that but this one is not that it's not that obvious that there is a line space in set you just need to put that back to one if you don't want it now sometimes when you are at university or college they want you to have double line spacing so the tutor can actually write in, the, in between the lines. If I put that to two, the tutor would maybe write comments on, on, on pen, in pen, un, underneath whatever he doesn't like, like that's underlined there, might comment on that. Now, if I put that back to one, that's how you fix that one. Now this one, there's a very subtle gap there, not very big at all. And the default setting, sometimes in Word, when you get the uh, word for the first time, it is not on one line space it's on probably that 1.15 you know there's a bit of a gap and it's a bit off-putting when you first get word is why is it doing that and what you don't want to be doing is constantly going back up to there to put that to one you want to change that and set that as a default now to do that if you go back into this little arrow and make sure all of this is clear if i cancel this for a second so i'll put that back to 1.15 then come back into this. You can see it's up there. That is the default that when you first buy Microsoft Office. So you put that through here, back to single. So there's nothing there. Everything is zero. There's no indents left aligned. Everything's okay. Nothing's been selected in here that shouldn't be selected. That's normally on by default. And then you set that as default. Then that won't happen on a new document. and Everything will be okay. Now, I've already done that on mine, so I don't need to do it again. The default is not 1.15. It is just set as, as a single line like that. Click OK to that. And then it will fix it, and it will be fixed from ev for every new document as well. So that's just a very quick video of how you can get rid of what appear to be blank lines, which are, aren't actually blank lines. It's just the way the things have been set up. So we've looked at how to edit a heading style that causes a blank line or a space, how to edit edit a paragraph that's got double line spacing on it or slightly less than that and similar sort of option there and changing the default so it doesn't do it again. So hopefully that was of use for those of you who find that difficult to get your head around. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.